welcome to Vinnie Bourne Training. This morning we're going to show you a paint we have for painting kitchen cabinets and bedroom units. It's a two component paint, so there's a little bit in it. We're going to show you how to mix the paint and the thinners correctly together. We have a, the correct paintbrush, gloves, lint-free cloth, some sanding and masking tape. Okay, so it's really important um, when you're painting anything that you do your preparation and your little tests first, okay? Just Two main issues. One is you need to clean the surface. This is a, a unit, uh, a door out of the kitchen, so it's probably going to have a coating of grease, grime, hair, whatever stuck to it. So it's really important to clean that off first. I'm actually using the paint thinners to clean it down. Um, it's important to clean it, not just to jump in and sand it straight away. If you do do that, you, you may push grease and grime further into the substrate, the wood in this case, and then when you go to paint it, you may have issues with, with, with dirt coming out. Okay. The second thing to be careful as well is if the units have been painted before or you don't know the history of them, uh, a cheap oil based paint may have been used and when you use this paint over it you may get a paint reaction. So it's up to you just to do a small little check on the corner first and make sure that the paint we're supplying you with is compatible with the, the kitchen doors that you're going to paint. We then use uh, a dry lint-free cloth just to uh, clean off any, any solvent that's still left on the surface. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, a 240 grit on the door. The door is in, in good condition. I don't want to use something too abrasive. That's gonna give us an awful lot of work. We're gonna be left with paper marks maybe at the end of the job where you can see the, the, the painted finish and you can see paper marks coming through. So we don't want that. Um, so I'm gonna go with 240 onto the surface. Now that we've sanded the surface, we need to remove any dust that we've created by sanding the surface. Now, let's move on to mixing the paint. Okay, we're now ready to um, activate the paint. So we're gonna mix the paint A, hardener B, thinners C. As I say, the mixing ratio is seven to one to about 10 to 15 percent thinners. So we're gonna start off with the paint. We're using a measuring cup, so that's gonna, you know, take the calculations out for us. So, it is calibrated, so we're going for 7 to 1. And we're going to start off by pouring the A. Next up is the hardener, part B. Last is our thinners, which we're going to go to 10%. Now that we have the three components mixed together, we're going to stir them around to get them well mixed, and then um, we're going to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes let it all activate and mix there together and then we can go on to the next stage of actually painting the unit. So I'm going to use a, uh, an Axis Decor brush, it's um, for cutting in edges and all that, it's, it's slightly angled. It's a good idea actually to hang on to the, um, the packaging that the brush comes with because it'll help keep the shape of the brush. The manufacturer always recommends as well that you condition the brush first, so maybe you, you uh, dip it in a bit of thinners um, and then clean it off be before you actually use it. You'll also get rid of any, any chance of loose hairs. I've used this brush several times before and it's still in good condition so 
once you clean them and look after them, you get a long life out of it. Okay. So with the store, there's a, a recess or a design in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint the hard edge first, the middle bit, and then we'll work our way out. Okay, we've applied the first coat. We're gonna to need to leave that at least 24 hours. We'll then have a look at it. With wood, when you paint, it's, sometimes you get the fibers popping up. So we may need to give it a light rub with something again like our uh, 240 grit sandpaper. Um, once we've done that, then we can clean it again and apply our second coat. Probably depend on the color, because it's brown and we're going a high gloss white over it. We may need to give it, you know, three coats maybe, you know. Okay, we're ready now for our second coat. Um, I had to give it a, a light rub of 240 grit. There's a few little bits on it, little bits of dirt that lands on it overnight. Um, but now it's okay, I can give it a second coat and that should be, should be enough for it. Okay, that's the second full coat. So I say it's a high gloss finish. It's two components, so it'll chemically cure. It'll be dry the following day, but it'll be full seven days before it's fully cured. So you have to be careful with cleaning and, and uh, splashing things onto the surface. I also want to mention that this is a solvent paint, so there's a strong solvent smell off it. That'll clear after a couple of days. Now, if it's a thing that, you know, the smell of, of paint, heavy paints, it will, will cause you issues. Um, or as offensive in any way. We do have water-based versions of this paint. They're not as tough, they're not as strong, they're not gonna last as long as the solvent one, but the upside being there is no smell as such, or very little smell. So if you don't mind the smell for a couple of days or whatever, this is the one that I would choose for my kitchen. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.